Alright, so this is the Terry Bogard Smash Ultimate Showcase by Sakurai. The Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Game was I got up at like 8 a.m. for this, so Japan Game Awards. Okay, that's impressive. It's received a great many awards on top of that as well. Each award is very meaningful to me, so I would like to take the opportunity to extend my thanks to all those who have voted and to all those who have supported us. Thank you so much. <laughs> the fact you have a fight stick means. And you have four controllers there. Let's begin the presentation. You see that guy? He has four controllers. Let's we'll start with what the Neo Geo is. It refers to a 1990 video game console for use in arcades and at home, as well as to the name of the system itself. In 1990, the equivalent to the Super NES had only just released in Japan, so if you wanted to play arcade games at home before then, the only option was to play the less polished ports on the Nintendo Entertainment System. However, with the Neo Geo system, you could play the arcade versions of games at home with no drop in quality. So Neo Geo was made for perfectly poor arcade games, because Super Famicom couldn't get them, couldn't do that. Had rental services for arcade games. In other words, you could go to a rental store, rent an Interesting. arcade game, take it home, and play it. So you can, like, that's interesting, like, you know, like, rent arcade games After from that, store. After sold for home use, but a single game would cost about 30,000. 30,000? That's a lot. That's expensive. That's like 300 bucks, it, isn't that? Compared to playing a game in the arcade 300 times at 100 yen per play, 100 yen per arcade. Basically you get, time, basically you can spend 30,000 playing the game 300 times at your arcade, but... You can, I mean, there really are people who play played games in the Super Smash Brothers <laughs> series 1,000 or even 10,000 times. Anyway, the MBS, as it was called then, was sold in various places, and for an arcade machine, it wasn't all that expensive. Very cheap, huh? You could also get them on lease. I guess like rent an arcade machine? That's why you'd end up seeing lots of candy stores having a metal slug cabinet. The home version of the Neo Geo came with this controller. Can you see? It has four <laughs> buttons. That's the Neo Geo fight this stick. Is the actual console itself. Here is That's the console. And here you slot in the big game cartridges. This is the Neo Geo. Just kidding. <laughs> the Neo Geo is actually that little thing? Actually, this is the Neo Geo X. Oh, the Neo Geo X, okay. That's the, basically the handheld version of the Neo Geo. You could also insert it into this docking station and play it as a home console. Beat Nintendo Switch to it. <laughs> the Switch. Multi-purpose console. Updated iterations of past systems are emblematic of the Neo Geo. Next, let's talk about what Fatal Fury is. It released in 1991, the same year as Street Fighter 2, but this one came later. It's like Street Fighter, but in the after Street Fighter. Like many of the other fighters, Fatal Fury was often regarded as a title that was developed to capitalize on the popularity yeah. of Street Fighter 2. But that's not really the case. It's its own separate Actually, thing. Both Street Fighter 2 and Fatal Fury were developed using the original Street Fighter as a foundation. In fact, the development of Fatal Fury was started by one of the planners of Street Fighter. <laughs> so Street Fighter developer plan was de developed it Fatal Fury. So it's a knockoff this of one is also a multiplayer focused fight. The creator created a knockoff of a sort of knockoff of his own series. Someone named Jeff Bogard is killed by Geese Howard. Geese Howard starts up a fighting tournament in Southtown, which he runs. To avenge his father's death, Terry enters the tournament, which is known as King of Fighters. King of I Fighters is a tournament name. Fighters, something you may have heard before. Yes, there's actually a popular series called the King of Fighters, and that series was named after the fighting tournament within the world of Fatal Fury. Yeah, there's a, there's a game, there's a set of games called King of Fighters. And Terry Bogard, who is the protagonist of Fatal Fury, also appears in all the games in the King of Fighters series as one of the main characters. Yeah, basically, King of Fighters is like spins off of Fatal Fury. If you want to play a game from either of the Fatal Fury series or the King of Fighters series, many of them are available now on Nintendo Switch as part of the Arcade Archive series. You may not know which one to play first, but my recommendation from the Fatal Fury series would be Fatal Fury Special. Play Special the King of Fighters series and or play King of Fighters 95. But if you want to play a fighting game with all sorts of strategic elements, then I recommend the King of Fighters 98. The 98 is the most fighting intensive one. Next, like... I'll give you some insight on Terry Bogart. 
Actually, this video was recorded about one month prior to its release. One month? That's because we need to translate and edit videos like this one, and that takes time. So basically he recorded he in August. The here is not from the final production ROM. So please understand that there may be some elements that differ from the final game. So since we have the opportunity, I yes, want to talk Terry. This a lot of so this SNK video was recorded in, in August, three months ago. Feel a little SNK lingo. But there's nothing to worry about. When we released the original Nintendo 64 version of Super Smash Brothers, I was often asked, "Who is Samus?" <laughs> Who is Samus? The is fun to play as is more important Who is Ness? Than the characters new or old, or whether the character is recognizable to everyone. I want to make sure I present Terry to you in such a way that you can fully understand his appeal. So thank you. Well, you have 45 minutes to do that, so like Again, he is going to be pretty complicated, even so, sucker, right? So yeah, he's the fourth fighter. This is Terry Bogard in Super Smash Bros. And Ultimate. as... He's still wearing an outfit that reflects the era of his original game, but we did our best to make him look cool in a variety And of as he's... And as Nintendo said, there won't be a you, fifth fighter reveal. You wonder, is this really a Super Smash Bros. game? Doesn't it? Just like... I mean, Terry vs. Ryu. One -on -one, he'll face the opponent. <laughs> So yeah, literally, literally the, the, the third Ryu slash Ken fighter. Even if you move him to a location behind the it's opponent, not even a surprise. Like it's literally the same as Ryu and Ken. Let's talk about his moves. His neutral attacks are jab, body blow, and high kick. Each move is something familiar from the Fatal Fury series. And his dash is power charge. This is a move you can use in real bout Fatal Fury Special and others. In the original series, it was one of his special moves. His tilt attacks are middle kick, rising upper, and under. Rising upper looks like he used up tilt. Like literally like his attack speed is slower. This is to match his original series. Slower. Dude, it's literally like, like another Ryu. Like a third. Okay, this is different. This smash attack is the equivalent to his strong attack, but the motion is even cooler than in his original series. Next, wild upper and slide kick. Okay, up smash, so they're the same as the Ryu's up smash. Then his midair moves. Jump, then chop. Jump, then kick. Jump, then back. Okay, that's all. That's literally Ryu's back here. And then somersault kick. Okay, that's However, uh. The somersault kick was not included in the original series. <laughs> but that's so, a move that looks like Diddy's up air. So we created a new the way he like kicks overhead or something. Also, jump and then karate punch for a down air attack. If you successfully pull off a down air, it's possible to attack with a meteor effect. Okay, literally the Ryu down air. Next, I'll cover his throw. How many moves? We have so many moves that'll be the same. Those will be, be the same as also Buster as Re as Ryu and, and his slash Ken. His neck breaker drop. In fact, he used it in the game Fatal Fury: Wild Ambition. I miss playing that game on Hyper Neo Geo 64. And then his up throw is grasping upper. This sort of dodge attack can be performed after a spot dodge. I mentioned dodge attack. And this actually does exist. Dodge attack? During a spot dodge, immediately press the button to counter attack. Oh. He has so little, he has tiny lag, huh? You can basically uh, you can basically cancel the lag from a spot dodge. This move gives you the advantage when you counter attack. Basically you gotta cancel his spot dodge lag for it to do that. His neutral special with just the B button is Power Wave. Depending on how long you press the button, you'll use one of two types of special attacks weak and strong. This one is weak and kind of slow. Okay, so this one, you know, kind of like how kind of like. For you, in his original game, you used three buttons, so there were weak, medium, and strong attacks. For Terry Bogard, you could use four buttons in his original game, but there were only two buttons for punch. So that's why he only has two attack levels, weak and strong. This rule applies to all of his special attacks, so please keep that in mind. So all his specials are weak and strong versions, even up special. So I'm gonna guess that his up special will be better or worse. In his original game, you couldn't use this move in the air. 
This is how it looks now. Basically, As it's not really too good in the air. The Power Wave ability had a shorter range, so we've recreated that version of the move. It's a useful move in midair and helps keep opponents. Okay, well, track. it's not really good if you, Next, for like a special for like if you're far away. It's only good for like close pockets. range midair. This move also has a weak Side and B. strong version, as well as a command input. Oh my god, command inputs are... Like the Hadouken command input from Street Fighter 2, you perform this command using the directional inputs, down to the side, in the direction of your opponent, and then... Yep, <laughs> we have command you inputs again. A bit stronger. I mean, who saw this coming? This means that Burning Knuckle has four variations. Weak without weak, command input. Weak with command input. without command input. Weak with command input and strong with command input. The strong version using the command input is of course the most Yeah, the strong plus command is strongest, so... The command. And if you've succeeded... A green effect, okay. Green so that's gonna tell you that if you got it, if you got the it command... Slight, but there is a difference. You have to, so not only do the command, but also hold the button to the do the strong one. The command input really is strong. Even capable of KOing opponents. It can be blocked, however. So be on the lookout. For yeah, you can block it. So you want to do this for like surprise. You want to do this so if you want to if you get a good read. Two controllers. This is he has four controllers on this table. Like, what is going up? Like, why does he have four controllers? He really gonna have like, use like all four of them at once? One more side special than usual. Crack shoot. This is a familiar move from his original Oh, he, this is a side B in the opposite direction? It's performed by using the directional buttons down to the back. Followed so, by it's like the side B was side B. So basically, this is side B where you're facing the other way. The command version can launch your opponent quite a bit further. It, it's like bouncing fish. But it, but it doesn't like... It doesn't it bounce to carry arc, back. So it can be used as an anti yeah. attack when your opponents try to hit you. It's like bouncing fish, but it doesn't range, have the bounce back part on, shield, on his part level like Sheik. Because you'll pass through them. So basically it can so miss. I want you to do you want to have create some distance and then do it? When you do a crack shoot off screen, this is how it will look. Yeah, you can have Steve by accident. This whole body when using burning knuckle and crack shoot, so it can be hard to recover. Yeah, so However, crack shoot you can mess up recoveries without inputting commands. You should be able to initiate crack shoot in the direction you're trying to recover. Let me show you. So don't do the command version if you want to recover. Then continue to press backward. So basically drift back. And then you can recover. So basically do if some drift back. Do a, do, like commands, like drift right towards the stage and then do the side B. Then you will crack shoot that system. way. Rising tackle. Okay, that actually looks kind of bad. Strong versions, each with different types. Okay, well, that's the weak version. Let's see what the strong version is. And maybe and strong plus command. If you hold down briefly to charge, your whole body glows a little. Oh, okay, like Mar like case, uh, your whole body will be like Mario Bros. Stars. Two, like you know, way, Mario Bros. Two. If you hold down, you can get a higher jump. In action. With the standard rising tackle. I got completely wiped out when I threw my. So basically, out. there's no invincibility frames. But with rising tackles, charged command version. There's I frames in the right in the charge version. You can't be hit at this moment. So you yeah. On top. So basically, the normal one has no I frames. The charge one has I frames. So always do the charge one. Tackle as a recovery as well. It looks kind of bad for recovery though. Even after using Burning Knuckle or Crack Shoot, you can Okay, well, I guess paired with Burning Knuckle or Crack Shoot, it can be this better. This is also very helpful when you're trying to recover, so please keep that in mind. So, the fact they have two side Bs to work power with. Dunk. Power Dunk. An attack that rises and descends. This side, down, diagonally, down command input is also... It's sure you can... It's a, it's a sure you can command. <laughs> If you can pull it off, you'll be invincible at the start of the move. Okay, if you get it off, then you're invincible the entire th thing. Also, you can hear a sound when it connects. But it might be tough to make out. Now, let's talk about canceling specials. You can cancel specials? I'd really like you to keep this in mind. This will be interesting for, for Terry. First, if you use a special after attacking with a standard attack, 
The special won't come out until the move animation has finished. Yes, yeah, so there's a bit of lag. There's a bit of lag in there, but happens if you cancel out of it. At this moment here, if you've successfully entered a special command input, the rest of the animation will be So basically, okay, so that's, so basically you can cancel you can cancel in lag with again. special. Throw out a kick like normal. Basically you can forward you can do forward you can do forward smash. You can do like forward smash into neutral special as a combo. Set it up so that when you attack, you can go straight into a special. And then you know they're gonna probably get hit. Cause it'll be. This will increase your offense. Cause already gonna be shooting it out Please by the time out. they get hits. For example, neutral attack one, two, and power down. This oh, it, okay. So neutral. Basically, you can ter Terry can turn anything into a combo. You can also get Terry to fly out and attack in an M shape. M shape. In his original game, you could only cancel oh. attacks on the. Oh yeah, the uh, down Smash special and all. It's possible to cancel aerial moves. You can cancel attacks in the air this time. The types of aerial attacks that you can cancel are limited to things like neutral air attacks or down air attacks. So you have to do neutral or down air to cancel. I think it would be wise to use these combos. So neutral and down air can be combo starters. Oh, At final last, smash time. Final smash. His final smash begins with triple geyser. Triple geyser. Three geysers straight forward. He probably has two final smashes like Ryu and Ken. However, if you think that's all, you're very mistaken. Oh, oh I didn't think that was all. Oh, that's the event. So if it actually lands, then he gets, then he does that. As you can see, if Triple Geyser connects, you'll follow up with Power Dunk and Buster Wolf. It's three moves in one. It's a what about if you're right next to somebody? Does it like not matter? You may be wondering what happened to his original super special moves. Yes, they're here too. He has super special moves. With the usual rules, when Terry's damage meter rises up so to when it's oh, does it go icon kind of when it's like at over a hundred? So when he's like, so when he's about to die, when he's about to like lose a stock, like if he's at kill percent, then he gets the go, which makes the specials more powerful. You enter the specific command. <laughs> you can the power okay, just you can just use power geyser without a smash ball, huh? If I borrow the way it said in the original game. Down, angle down, side, angle down. <laughs> well, good luck memorizing uh, that. It's a bit complicated. <laughs> Downward, then backward, then forward. So basically, do to the to the left, do to behind Terry, then it is front of Terry. So you get to control the direction Basically, of the it's just going to be a version of the, of the neutral B, case, but more no powerful. Which direction you're going for, just swap mm. the right input and left input. Yeah. It's like this. Downward, then backward, then forward. Or down, and then the opposite direction, if that's forward. Yeah. And Good luck trying to memorize this. Special move. Another one? Oh, the side B is also super special. Buster Wolf. So the Buster Wolf part of his final smash is made into a regular move. The command input twice. To do Hadouken to two times. To, again. to do the Hadouken command twice, do this. To do the Buster Wolf without a smash ball, but... It can be rather difficult to pull off moves using the original game's command inputs. But you can also use simplified command inputs. Simplified? In the case of Power Geyser, remember <laughs> this. Down, side, down, forward. As long as you input the command downward to the side, to the back, downward so basically, again, you don't do the diagonals. Forward, you should be fine. The diagonals aren't really necessary. In the case of Buster Wolf, it's simply down, side, down, side. Yeah, you don't need to do- so basically, it, this eliminates- this removes the, the diagonals. Even though the command input is complex, it can still be blocked with ease. Yeah, you can- all of these are- are safe- all of these are- are- all these are unsafe on shield. These- none of these are safe on block, so you gotta be careful. You gotta only do these when, like, you know you get a read or- or, like, you know, if you're going for something crazy. Also, the fact that you get over 100% when you do that, you're probably gonna die if you don't get it. opponent may be able to predict your move and take action. Yes, you need to. Essentially, the, it's best to use the go it thing means they're gonna probably sort. Of, they're gonna expect a uh, canceling into it. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be how you do it. You want to get a combo into it. Taunts, I decided to match his original game. His up taunt is "Hey, come on, come on!" from the King of Fighters series. His down taunt spins his hat like in the real bout series. 
and his Saiton is stand up from Garo, Mark of the Wolves. There's still only been 20 minutes, so there's gotta be more. There's gotta be, like, there's not a point of the stuff he's showing. So far, and you can hear his voice. Like that. We've incorporated both his longer remarks, like Power Wave, from older titles, and his shorter remarks, like Rock You, from newer titles. Okay, basically, he, has, he says different things. And here are his color variations. Oh, uh, okay, so the there's a so the girl version is not in this game. Unless maybe there's maybe unless there's a separate set of alts. Slightly different in each version. <laughs> Once is Neo Geo. Based on his original games. When this is Neo Geo. Some from the King of Fighters 14 and the anime series. What about the girl version? Is they they're really not going to add that. He sometimes and he throws off his and he throws his hat away. It happens during his victory pose. His cap also blows away when he is defeated in stamina mode. Oh, wow, you saw that? His cap is basically loses his cap if he is defeated. The stage is called King of Fighters Stadium. I guess those are King of Fighters characters like or Fatal Fury. The text above the Jumbotron reads King of Fighters without the. When we talk about a game title, we need the up front, but the name of the tournament in the game's story is just King of Fighters. This is a very unique stage, and it follows some rules that haven't existed in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before. Um, like what? First, the edge is walled off. Okay, so basically the, the edge BS the thing does series, not work in this. To launch a it looks like a walk-off, but it's not really a walk-off. Here, however, the more damage a fighter has accumulated, the more the wall oh, the walls can break. Launched into it. Can you okay, basically you can break the Eventually. walls. Okay, the basically you break, you can, you can like hit, keep hitting them against the wall and there eventually the kill back. them through the side. But basically, you can't do it at like zero percent. The, the walk-up BS is not doesn't work damage. at low percents, unlike Colosseum at all. That way, you can enjoy the battle. But you can walk up to your death, I guess. Probably maybe it's just he can't. Dude. When you're close to the wall. Oh wow! So it's possible to be KO'd even when Okay, well the walk ups thing still kind of like works if you if you if you're, if you're close. In the real bout Fatal Fury series, I guess it still kind of works even at low percent, but it, I guess but you can't do it like at zero. You can't just like a simple grab and to throw. It, you have to actually hit them. Well, maybe a throw we could, could, could do it as well, but all its rules. But, but attacks are better at breaking that wall. By the way, there are guest characters in the background, right? Since we have the opportunity, I'd like to introduce them to you. First up, Andy Bogard. He's the adoptive brother of Terry Bogard. Both of them were adopted He's from an orphanage and raised by Jeff Bogart. Basically, However, they're both orphans. Their teacher was Jeff Bogart. Andy studied under Mai Shiranui's father. He uses the. So Andy's the adopted son of Jeff Bogart and Terry's brother. Joe Higashi. He's one of the three main characters from earlier games in the Fatal Fury series. He's the only one that doesn't have any connection to Geese Howard. He's a Muay Thai champion. Kung Fu Ru. He's the master of the Holy Fist of Eight Ways, and he also trained Jeff Bogard. He can enlarge his So he's the master well. of even Jeff? He's, he trained Billy Jeff Kane. Bogard. He's been in many Fatal Fury games since the first one, and he's the right-hand man. So basically, it makes Terry like a, a grandson. Costume, his costume is based on his appearances in King of Fighters 97 onwards. You can't really see his back, but the no smoking symbol is definitely there. So I guess maybe the model, if you if you hack the game to see the model, the move the camera behind him, then you can see the sign and there. The rival of Terry Bogard. Falling off of buildings is his thing. Well, Geese Howard killed his. Well, yeah, because Geese Howard killed Jeff Bogard. Rock Howard. His first appearance was Garo, Mark of the Wolves. He's the son of Geese Howard, and Terry actually raised him. Oh wow! That so means his appearance in this game at this age with that look doesn't really jive with the timeline. But Smash is kind of like that to begin with, right? <laughs> Kim Kapwan. He uses Taekwondo and considers himself a fighter for justice. His Ho'okaku is very famous. Yuji Yamazaki. His first appearance was in Fatal Fury 3, and he's a criminal known as Dark Broker. He's very selfish and sadistic. Blue Mary. 
Her first appearance was in Fatal Fury 3, too. She uses Combat Sambo, and she's a good drinking buddy of Terry's. Those were the characters from the Fatal Fury series, but from here on, let me introduce characters from other series. King of Fighters. Athena Asamiya. She's a psycho soldier. Psycho Soldier is a memorable game released around 1986 oh, and it was okay, the first title to feature a fully voiced theme song within the game. This huh. epic song was also remixed for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and it was recorded in both Japanese and English. Music start. Kyo Kusanagi. He's the protagonist of the King of Fighters series, and he uses the ancient martial arts. Because he's the protagonist of King of Fighters. Speaking of the protagonist, there are differences depending on which version you're talking about, like Orochi and Nest. Anyway, he is forever a school kid. Iori Yagami. Originally, he was introduced as Kyo Kusanagi's rival, but when I first saw this character in the game at the time, due to his look and attitude, I thought, whoever created this character must be a genius. Goro Daimon. He's a judo gold medalist belonging to the Japanese team, and he likes to throw his opponents. Chang Hohen and Choi Bonge. One is an escaped convict, and the other is a slasher. They are currently <laughs> undergoing rehabilitation under the previously mentioned Kim Kapwan. Ralph Jones and Clark Still. Originally, they were main characters in the Ikari Warriors series before Neo Geo. They appeared as guests in the Metal Slug series, too. Byo Sakazaki, the protagonist of Art of Fighting. The original Art of Fighting was released just before Fatal Fury 2. That means it was the first game to implement a true super special move. How could I not include him? <laughs> King, her first appearance King. was in Art of Fighting, and she's just, just King is enough. She is a beautiful woman with an androgynous sense of style. Next, Yuri Sakazaki. She was kidnapped in the first Art of Fighting game, but after that, she trained hard I guess Ryo saved her? In, karate in just one year. In other words, she's a genius. I guess Ryo saved so, as you Yuri. As we've included many characters. A total of 20 characters. There's a lot of them, then different you know, it's period very of time. I mean, it takes a lot of time. But so many people love each and every one of these characters, even outside the confines of their individual series, so we simply had to do our best by them. By the way, you may have noticed that a very important character from the Fatal Fury series was not included. Yes, Mai Shiranui. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is for good boys and girls of many different ages, so we decided not to feature you. Please forgive us. Wow! Wow. Also, my music features a variety of tracks in the music Wow, Sakurai. <laughs> that is the funniest thing you can say. For example, there's a track called Pasta, and when the music is playing, Andy Bogart will always appear. Basically, different songs will cause different characters to appear. To that as well. <laughs> Smash is for good okay. boys and girls, yeah right. So now let's jump into some <laughs> Says the one who added Bayonetta. Okay now oh he's playing this classic time, I'm mode. Going to play the Terry route of classic mode. Okay, he's playing classic mode. On top of that, I want to try and hit the highest intensity level. Okay, just do let's what I do in my in my showcase videos. Honestly, playing the game in extreme difficulty while doing commentary is extremely hard. You said One it. <laughs> the other is doable, but doing both at once forces me to divide my attention. But that means I should do my best at both. I'll do my best. First, well, this route is named the King of Smash. King of Smash. Three characters who have some sort of connection okay. will appear as a set. A challenge that looks somehow familiar. Okay, so either here you knock uh, knock Mario okay, off the stage the or you get rid of his health. I guess everybody has health. All battles in Terry's route are stamina battles. This stage okay, they are. KO rule that I talked about earlier isn't the best match for stamina rules, but oh well. On his route, a lot of stages feel like they're from a traditional fighting game. Okay, well he's doing pretty good. In Sakurai. Okay, I did it anyway. Oh! Oh, I was expecting Guru was going to like throw him to the left and like course, kill him. In this mode, that would have been the funniest thing ever. KO, but normally it'll be over before that. Yeah, the stamina is going to reach there before you can even do the KO off the side. 
So it's not worth trying to kill Looks him like off the side in stamina him. mode. Next, round two. It's the Legend of Zelda team. Just because characters are in a team because oh, of this one has walk-offs. That doesn't mean that they have to be from the same game. This, this is Let's Go to Soul. King Cup one He's using a lot of power wave. And I've got it set up so that we don't move from the bottom of Prison Tower. Oh, okay. So is this like no hazards version of Prison to Tower? Knock him off the screen, but I'm not going to do that because it's not as fun to watch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he knows. Oops, I knocked him off. Over here. <laughs> I like how like he just literally lets him come back because he doesn't because like it's not fun to watch this watch him just get knocked off the screen. You know it's an easier win for me. All right. The boomerang's not coming That's back. That's hilarious. All right, well. And I can't go to the edge. Yeah, because then you're gonna get thrown off and die. So you're using, using a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. The tables have turned. <laughs> oh my god. I was I was actually thinking that that grab was actually gonna throw him off. That was that would have been so funny. Cancelled it. <laughs> he wears his cap backward when he does a power dunk. Oh, where's it backwards and a power dunk? Now you can call this the giant stage. Oh, okay, this one actually has course, edges and also. So this is. Of course he says. You might wonder who Taku and Steppy are. Okay, just destroy Bowser without taking like damage. I see. I see, Sock, right? Just take, just take note. Just, just destroy Bowser without even getting hurt. There's a giant wrestler named just JV that Bowser. Oh my god, you're gonna do this to DDD as well? It's a really famous hard rock song. So please give it a listen. Dude, he doesn't take any damage yet. What is this? Aw. Uh, okay, well, he did, but he, he, he destroyed Bowser and DD without taking damage. Big Bear is his true identity. He's called Riding. Sucker so definitely practice, because this, because like this character looks really complicated to to play. Jump. He definitely has practiced, so he knows how to play Terry. To find the intensity quite Palatina. <laughs> I can't wait for Nairs. The whole atmosphere is a little different than how it's been. Okay, this time this one is right? platforms, so this will be a little different. Flat stages, but suddenly we're at a battlefield form stage. Oh, the shield! Aw, oh, you messed up. There's an arcade game series. It's alright, I mean, Arcana. it's fine. And this stage oh, uses Metal Box. Metal Terry. Metal. Well, that means recover is gonna be even worse. Now that I'm thinking about it, I suppose both Lady Palutena and the Athena games were possibly an homage to the Athena of Greek mythology. <laughs> Plus, Maybe? Something or two characters okay, but we have a jetpack. Similar abilities are together. It's a nice Kokugenyu team. Oh, okay, well, he has a jetpack, so he's dead. If I let my guard down, I'll easily be defeated, so I need to pay attention. Not bad. I mean, you haven't really taken any damage yet. So like a little bit. Okay, come here comes the Nairs. I have chat hidden, but I'm fully expect. I'm fully thinking, the expecting way, them to say like Nair. You can use moves like I'll... Maxu to aim for overhead platforms, so they have some utility to them. Okay. I kept her in check. Phew, that was close. Looks like that fire bar didn't work out for her. Okay, power dunk. It's getting brutal. The intensity is close to eight. I mean, you're still you doing pretty good, Sakurai. You, have, you, you haven't really like been oh, under 100 Sonic health in one round on yet. Stage. Actually, Sonic and Terry were both created in '91, so they're the same age. Same age, Sonic isn't Sonic. And the next year, in '92, Kirby was born. <laughs> your own creation. Your own creation, Sakurai. Is your it's your own creation? Well, this is the walk-off stage. You know, it's easier to fight on sloped ground. When using crack shoot, it's especially easy going uphill. Yikes! It's too soon. Okay, well now he's lower. He's at less than 100. So. With 150 HP. So yeah, he's almost. He almost lost half his health in that one round. He was born in 87. 
the first this could be the first death, as well. possibly, because, so yeah, you see the health is going down and down and down, so Sakurai will probably take a death at some points, unless he gets, like, super clutch or something. Oh! Off screen. Ah, he went off. I'm sorry. And now... Come on, don't be sorry, you're about to win! Eh? Of course. Come on, you had to, oh, on, you had to do that because you're about to lose, Sakurai. You have 52 health team, left. I'll call him your company's character. Your company's character. They always come back saying, oh yeah, our company's character. <laughs> Namco so forgetting that Pac-Man turns 40 next year. Oh, that was close. Oh my god, that grab rate was OD. Do you see that? Yet. Oh, okay, we're getting the go this thing. Got a super special move. Okay, well, this, this is gonna be close. How was that? Not enough? This is gonna be close. Well, how about now? Oh, I did it. That was clutch. It's bad to keep using the same move, seriously. Probably the stale thing. And also predictability. Next. Oh my god. Team darkness. darkness. I mean, one of them is literally darkness, being Ganon. With the track Soy Sauce for Geese, playing on the rooftop, it's got the aura of a final showdown. This is the last round before the boss fights. Oh, not good. Up next is Ganondorf. Okay. I don't want to get hit by him. Not okay, even. yeah, the door. You don't want to get Doriad. Getting Doriad is gonna be the, is not good. Like this one. Well, I mean, if you were in percent mode, it'd been worse. But you're in stamina mode, so it's fine because you're not gonna get launched to death. That was because Ganon capitalizes on on killing early with with high knockback, but stamina mode kind of nerfs that. Because it's not about knocking them away, it's about getting rid of their health. Okay, now for Bayonetta. For a scary one, Bayonetta. <laughs> okay, even he knows Bayonetta is scary. Well... Yep. Maybe you shouldn't have added her in the last game, Sakurai. Oh. That was just dangerous. I mean, this is going by way better than the last round. Like... Where's the Bayonetta's upbeat whatever? <laughs> the CPU... Has seen so better days. Good. That was a beautiful move. Hey, what's a but beautiful you move? Take advantage of that opportunity. Oh. That a lot. Okay. Time for the final battle. It's not Master Hand, but Ryu, Ken, and Okay, it's basically the Street Fighter characters and Art another carry. Is playing. In other words, it's kind of a theme fight. <laughs> two, three, zero, strong, so like, a bunch of zeros. Oh, well, we're at 38 minutes, but this is gonna... Oh, wow, so this is what what's taking up the rest of the time. Classic mode. Starting from 150 HP, so, so it took 20 minutes to to do. It took like 20 minutes to go over Terry's move set. Then like another what 10 minutes to do to show off the stage and the characters. And now it's, now it's gonna take another 10 minutes to like to show classic to show his classic routes. Same super special move. But this is no time for chit chat. So so what the last five minutes will be like what like maybe showing the B costumes just that were coming out or something or just or just wrap up. This is no good. Well, I feel like Sakurai will die at one point. Oh, wait, no. From here. Oh, wait, no. This is the last fight, okay? Maybe my duels without dying once. Yeah, there's a Terry Ditto. You have to do. It's a fight. <laughs> Tower at the same time. Here he comes. I gotta be on guard. Gotta be on guard, yet yeah, you like run back. Oh, he has a go. Oh! Yeah, but with a power wave? <laughs> that was an eclectic. If I could have pulled off a super special move, that would have been awesome. But, alright, did I make it to intensity 9.9? .9? Yeah, yes, did. you did. That was hard work. Congrats, Sakura, you actually did it. <laughs> Made it to 9.9. .9. Terry Bogard is really fun to play as, so I hope you enjoy playing as him in such situations. Well, I don't think I'm gonna main him because he seems pretty complicated. No oh, song collection. Next, this will cover the last five minutes of this, of this direct. This time we have something very special lined up for you. For instance, when we were deciding which songs to include in this set, we thought about concentrating on songs related to Terry. But there were a lot of big band style songs that didn't really fit the mood of battle. 
That aside, the music of SNK has always been great, right from the beginning. So this time, we selected tracks that... So the entire SNK, SNK library is basically not just Fatal Fury and King of Fighters, but even more than that. ...to include series outside of just Fatal Fury and the King of Fighters. <coughs> SNK songs I know there's like that Athena one. This was true before Neo Geo, and all the way from the old The King of Fighters games to the arrangements in the latest installment, The King of Fighters 14. Cough 14. We did a lot of digging around, and finally managed to narrow our many candidates down to 50 songs. 50, 50 tracks, that's a lot. Even so, that's a lot. We never intended to do something like this, of course. 50 so tracks for one stage, though? To That's a lot. Expecting them to pick out maybe 10 or 20 that they considered acceptable. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII crying, crying okay. and shaking in the corner because they only got two. <laughs> An unexpected result, okay. Much added in okay, you can add a 50 songs from our from our games. Have a look at the list. That's how we ended up with the list we have, but we worked hard to deliver some of the best There's a, Most of them are King of Fighters and Fatal Fury, though. This was a very one-off case, and I don't think we'll be able to do Alpha the same Okay, so the ones with stars are ones from, honest, from outside those two series. Oh, Samurai Showdown. The pass oh, Samurai Showdown, Metal Price. Slug. I do hope you'll enjoy it. Challenger Pack 4 comes with a spirit board. New too. spirit board of, of King of Fighters and Perry characters, I guess. The spirits menu. Have a look at the back. So we got spirits of the characters with cameo. You'll start feeling pretty nostalgic. Shinkiro Sans oh, wow, the background. Is so nice and vibrant, isn't it? You can also look forward to mock tournaments featuring each of the characters. Mock tournaments? Athena and Ralph and Clark artwork really is something. Really is something, huh? Now for the Mii Fighters. Okay, here we go. So now for Mii Costumes. There was a leak about this, so we'll see if it's true or not. This will be the last thing I'm going to show. <laughs> okay, that's... Okay, Samurai showed on Mii Costume. Nakoruru. Art of Fighting. Alright, so Ryo Sakazaki is a brawler. So the, most people are gonna call him Goku. They're gonna make a Goku me out of this. King of Fighters. Got one of Iori Yagami. Virtua Fighter. Okay, another Virtua Fighter one. This time... Oh wait, no, this is the one from uh, Smash 4, the Akira one. I think, yeah, this is the one from... Oh, but Jackie's this time one. Okay, so Akira's from Smash 4. The Akira costume, but Jackie is a new one. And that's it, okay. People were saying Mallow was gonna be a costume. Well, looks like that's not true. It's only five fighters. I'm not getting any of these, I don't really care. But I'm looking to get Terry. I only have the fighter pass for Terry. And that's gonna be just about it because we're at 43 minutes and uh oh available November 6th, so I guess Terry comes out today. He's gonna announce the release date being today. SNK was also involved with the Mii Fighter set this time, so it has a strong fighting game influence. It I get announced that Terry's gonna be releasing today. I mean I'm fully expecting that not right now, Sakurai. Moving on to Amiibo, here's the new lineup. Okay, so we have... Simon, okay, Krom, Simon, Krom, and Sinner are coming out in, in a week. Will be released on Friday, November 15th. Same day as Pokemon Sword Shield. 6.0 coming out. Next, let's discuss the details of the update. We've made some improvements to Battle Arena. Improvements, huh? What, like what? First, we're making it so you can send messages to each other in Send messages, arena. okay. The messages like Mario Kart Wii. So and Mario Kart 8. The player who created the arena oh, you can change rules without having to make a new one. Eh? We've also added the option to play either Battlefield form or Omega form at random in the stage. Okay, settings. random battle, random Omega. No longer random. Okay, so that's cool. Aside from that, you can now pick Elite only as an Elite type. only. Okay, so only people who get no Elite Smash can go in. Won't be the only way to play with people you don't know. 
As long as the arena type is set to public and no password is set, so we've made okay, it so yeah. everyone is now free to join. So I hope you'll enjoy that. <laughs> public today arena raid. For distribution yep, today. If you have the fighter's pass, you'll be able to get him straight away. Yeah, I got him. I already separately. have the pass, so I'm gonna get him right now, right away. Well, I think that I'm gonna probably just do a video on him and then call it that. I hope we were able to convey his appeal. By the way, his reveal trailer was aired in advance. It was yeah. Created using SNK pixel art. The complete version of it, including the gameplay portion, is finally ready. I'd like to show oh, you. Oh, so we only got a partial version during that direct, huh? So we're gonna now, see this the. This is something of an inside story, but I of course wrote the plot for SNK's pixel art pack reveal trailer. The plot being the the letter the flying around. Up, you might recall how it says, "Don't be late." S. That is not what I wrote. <laughs> it makes me think, ugh, this is why I hate inside jokes. After leaving it to the staff, it snuck its way in there. <laughs> I just want you to know that the S is also the Super Smash Brothers series S. Well then, let's move on to the intro movie. Okay, so this is a full version of the reveal trailer we got from the Nintendo Direct two months ago. People are probably gonna be like, it's another King of Fighters character, it's another Neo Geo SNK character, oh my god! But nah, it's not. But it's, it's not. This is a full, yeah, this is a, this is the full version of the Terry Bogard reveal trailer. You will get a partial one, don't be late, S. <laughs> I guess maybe most people meant Sakurai. Thought Sakurai. Yeah, when they get, when they're fighting over that letter, but they miss. Mm. Rip. And the letter missed. The letter, like the bird missed. He missed too, yep. And he laughs because he missed. Of course, we'll land on the ground and Harry will get it. And yep, Terry gets the letter to go to Smash Bros. Terry face the fury, guys! He's confirmed it's Smash! Oh my god, Terry's in Smash, guys! Okay, this is what this is more to it. In the in the original version, we only got the power we only got the power wave on this stage, but this is more to it. I guess to not spoil the fact that not maybe not spoil his move set. Oh, Kirby! Yeah, this is what we this is that's all we got. This is this part was all we got in the in the Nintendo Direct that two months ago. We didn't get the final smash or anything. And that should be it. Yep, that's it. All right, so yep, that was that was a that was a Sakurai video, and oh, we crammed in a little. Too oh wait, there's so more. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Well, he's always gonna say his goodbyes. A little shorter. Okay, that's okay. Are you gonna say it's over? Okay, there, there. Now it's over. Okay, good. All right. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this. I'm gonna definitely do a video of Terry boat when I get once I get him, and yeah, we'll we'll see how good I do. I probably am not gonna do as good as soccer I did in, in that classic run, but. We'll see what happens. Alright, see you guys then. Peace.